Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the final installment of our Let's Play series looking at the individual characters before we move on to the co-op version of the game. We're going to be looking at the wizard finally here, the female wizard, and she will be Wiccan Lady. All right, Wiccan Lady, practitioner of witchcraft. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, it's what a long, strange journey it's been, guys, huh? This whole let's play thing, <laughs> playing through the third of a beta. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you guys are still with me, though. I'm glad you guys are still enjoying it enough for those of you that don't happen to uh, get the chance to get into the beta. Of course, good luck to everyone who enters the beta giveaway contest taking place over on our Twitter account. Good luck to all of you. We gotta get rid of these guys with my magic missile. Let me go ahead and use this too. Yeah, beautiful. Looks good. All right, so let's uh, of course take a look at some of the spells and abilities here for Miss Wizard. At the same time, we'll uh, put some clothes on her. It's looking pretty scandalous right now. Let's get you uh, get you robed here, lady, lady wizard. We got some decent stuff here for you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, pick up, of course, as well. You're missing something. Vince. Yes, our Cauldron of Jordan allowing us, of course, to sell stuff whenever and wherever we please. And you know what? I wonder too. Oh wow, no. Okay, wait. I do have crafting materials. I do want to see. I wonder if there's uh, any any stuff I can craft here for her. Let's start off by doing some forging, huh? I'm sure that's absolutely riveting for you guys. I'll make this as quick as possible. Um, wand. Ooh, that requires level six, so we'll have to wait till six till we can use it. Let's see. <clears throat> we'll just craft a few of these, though, see if we get anything good before we keep going. Casting speed, 25 crit. Five casting speed, uh, XP bonus. I'll do all five. We'll just take a look at which is best. And spells are still uh, not based off weapon damage. They haven't... Uh, they, the, the, there's plan change for that, at least it appears to be, but uh, it hasn't come through in the beta yet. Alright, 5 casting speed, extra XP, there's 4 in the crit, 5 in the XP, 5 in the XP. So of course I want 4 in the crit. How much is this? 25 crit, and that's 23. So this is going to be the best right now for me, I think. Um, so, just going to sell this stuff? Yeah, I'll just sell this stuff. And then we'll uh, hold on to that one for once we get level 6. Okay, let's go! Oh, that's cool. She's got some cool little pointy boots and some weird looking shirt with her ponytail. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this here. So we'll take a quick look at the uh, spells just in case you weren't around for the uh, initial Wizards Let's Play that I did. Which was of course with the male wizard and then we're on the, uh, the second half of that going through the female characters. <clears throat> All right, so we start off here with Frost Nova. 12 second cooldown and explosion of ice freezes nearby enemies for four seconds, dealing two to three cold damage. Wonderful. And then we've got our spam mobility here. Magical <laughs> magic missile, 15 arcane power, launches missile magic, causing four to five arcane damage. And uh, these spells are in the works to be changed in the sense that they're going to be based off of weapon damage. Um, the wizard and the witch doctor both having upcoming changes for that. Again, it's something that Blizzard is just testing internally. They haven't actually gone through with it yet. And I did just pick up Ice Armor, so we'll take a look at that really quick as well. Again, this lore we stuff just because it gives me XP. Um, still considering doing a, 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 a video with no commentary, just full lore, talking to all the characters and all that kind of stuff. Because I know there are some people who would like to see that. Ice Armor, 25 Arcane Power, surrounds yourself in a barrier of ice that increases armor by 50% and causes 0-2 to two damage to melee attackers, chilling them for 2 seconds. Now I am going to stick with Frost Nova, since I don't really plan to even get hit. But I will show you the Ice Armor at some point, fret not. Right now we're going to stick with it. I mean, that, that, look at that, it's just beautiful. That's so much better than standing there hoping to get hit and... <laughs> <laughs> Ice Armor is certainly going to have his uses, but not here, at least. Too early in the game, too easy, not taking enough damage, and, you know, just kind of unnecessary. Lay some damage down there. In fact, even killing one of them. I mean, that's that's impressive. Look at those little fish over here. I never noticed that. What is that? Oh, that wasn't a fish. That was a body part? Uh, yeah. What's a body part? <laughs> I thought we had some... Uh, Thought we had some fish there. 
Maybe some tuna. But no. Oh yeah, of course, uh, with the female Let's Plays, we are doing full exploration. Taking a look all the way around the map at everything that can be seen. So that, of course, we'll be, uh, we'll be following that trend here. With my Lady Wiz, Wicca. Wicca Lady? Is that what I called her? Say something. Get over here. Okay, so yes, it is Wic Wiccan Lady. That's what it is, Wiccan Lady. Wiccan, of course, being, uh, you know, actual crazy people who think they are witches. Actually, I believe uh, what it technically is, it's the practice. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, from what I understand, kind of like a druid-esque type of practice in which you worship the, the uh, I don't know, nature and stuff, you know, and the seasons and all of that. And, you know, if there happens to be a curse or two involved as well, that, that happens too. I, I, I mean, that kind of stuff just isn't for me. I cry foul and just call people crazy and stuff like that. But you know, it's each his own, you know? You got your own life, you can live it the way you want, believe the things you want to believe and do the things you want to do, as long as they don't hurt other people. Am I a hippie? I don't know, maybe. I might be a little hipster too. Saturday night I was studying calculus under my own volition at a coffee shop. <laughs> does that make me a hipster? I think it probably does. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. I'm just a nerd. And that's cool. In fact, it doesn't get any cooler. Sure beats the hell out of people who think they're cool. I had heard the rumors, but oh, for stopping so emo. Just shut the hell up and keep playing. And let's keep playing. Let's do this here. We got some, uh, we got some sweet exploration action going on here. And oh no, poor Warof. I returned to Condoras. And then you died. Warof didn't make it, guys. He was trying to come back and talk to Deckard. He was like, hey, maybe Deckard was right. Maybe this, maybe maybe stuff is going down and he can actually help us. But Warv didn't make it. He, uh, you know, got overwhelmed here by the zombie apocalypse. We got the Adventurer's Corpse here again. Just more XP for me to pick up. And some stupid little zombies going to be coming out here. Quick and easy kills, though. What? You died. Thank you. Level 3. What do we got? What's next on the agenda here? Shock Pulse. All right, we'll have to take a look at that. Let's replace Frost Nova with Shock Pulse. 15 Arcane Power releases a pulse of unpredictable charges of electricity doing four to nine damage to enemies hit. And again, this is kind of one of those things that will also be changing uh, with the upcoming change to weapon damage being dealt instead of, uh, okay, there you go. So that looks good, right? Looks solid. Not bad. It is random, so you know you gotta get lucky. The other thing too, kind of, kind of along the same lines of how uh, Plague of Toads works for the Witch Doctor. You have to, if you get up close, you're gonna guarantee those hits. If you're far away, you're not, you know, you're not 100 percent positive. Okay, I got, I got him there, but you don't always know. It's not always gonna hit. You know, it's not always gonna nail your target. So, but up close, you get, you get guaranteed hits. So. But then, obviously, as a caster, you don't always want to be up close, so it's one of those fine lines. You got to figure out. You got to figure out which, which is best for you, which is gonna work, and as long as you don't die. Ooh, ah, I was hoping for the anvil. I could go ahead and get that legendary. Probably don't want to walk in that. I'm assuming. Oh, look at that little random dungeon, damp cellar. Yes, dark cellar rather. Cool. Go up close here and. You see that? Pretty much guaranteed when you're sitting that close. And just peruse around this corner over here before we go ahead and head into that dark cellar, one of these randomized dungeons in Diablo 3. You never know what you're gonna get. You never really know what you're gonna get. Oh, here we go. Treasure goblin. Get back here. Just gotta keep hitting him, really. That's all it is. And he can't escape. And in between, yeah, there we go, good, got him. He dropped nothing but treasure, of course. I was really hoping for, well, he dropped nothing but gold. I was really hoping for some, uh, I don't know, some blues. Some blues would have been cool. Really haven't found much of anything. Uh, I've not found a single legendary item aside from the, um, that sword that everyone seems to have. Griswold's legendary sword there. It's dropped 
like four or five times for me. Basically what happens is you can randomly get, and I'm, I'm sure it can drop elsewhere, but uh, about four of the times at least there's just randomly been an anvil here, and uh, clicking that's gotten me that legendary. But I haven't found it recently, but uh, it definitely happened a few times. I'm pretty sure it also happened in one of those Let's Plays that I did. I don't, I really can't recall which one it was though, so. Alas, I cannot tell you which one to look for, but yeah. Griswold's, Griswold's Edge. Yep, Griswold's fine weapons. You used to be located there before, before the storm. <laughs> Things were different once the storm came. All right, let's go. Oh, you know what's cool? Uh, kind of random gaming news. I, I do my best. Well, I don't do my. I, I really, I'm really, you know, I am involved in the gaming industry uh, as a whole. Like, I really like to kind of pay attention to new and upcoming, exciting titles and everything that's going on. The whole point of my story is that uh, looks like Star Wars: The Old Republic does have a release date, and I believe it is either the 20th or the 21st of December. I think it might be the 20th. I believe that was the date. So, for those of you who may be fans of MMOs and the Star Wars universe. Coming right up, guys. This Christmas, you're gonna be playing the Old There's Republic. I I'm not sold. Um, I think there was more Star Wars is cool and had. Star Trek and all that stuff, but it's nothing that I really actually ever got heavily into. Uh, I said in the past I'm really more into uh, this type of fantasy realm um, with you know casters and warriors and demons and wizards and witches and you know dragons and all that kind of like that's the kind of stuff that I'm that I'm more into and those are the type of games that I typically play so I think that the old republic is gonna be something I'll probably check out and I may do a little bit of a let's play kind of like a small little series on it but I'm not sure how de how in depth I'll go into in that um, besides of course blizzards up and coming MMO which is Titan um, that's still something we haven't gotten mon much detail into. Looking to be kind of maybe a futuristic, possibly even an MMO FPS. That's kind of a, a one of the rumors going around. Um, but besides that, Guild Wars 2, that's on my list of things I'm excited about. I, I mentioned that in one of the prior Let's Plays as well. All right, let's go ahead and replace. We'll keep, um, we'll keep Magic Missile because I want that direct damage from something. But, and then we'll move into Wave of Force as the secondary ability here. 25 Arcane Power. 15 second cooldown, explode a wave of pure energy that repels projectiles and knocks back nearby enemies. This also slows movement of enemies by 50% and deals 9 to 10 physical damage to them. Not a bad ability, not bad at all. Especially since it's got my gamer tag name in it. Huzzah! <laughs> Keep repping the force. Alright, ready? Oh, that's sexy. Looks good. I like how it's nice and quick too. Nice and quick, it's, it's uh, pretty much instant there. Long cooldown, as you can see, it's still long cooldown. It's just one of those things you have to wait for, but one of those situational abilities. Oh, freaking I'll, I'll waste the time picking up that six gold. Uh, one of those situational abilities, and especially once you're surrounded by a large pack, that's going to be a very strong ability to use. Uh, and now I did do the Barbarian Skills video, so hopefully you guys who happen to see it enjoyed it. If you didn't see it yet, check it out. Uh, basically going over all the active skills available in the beta. Now, I'm, I'm so hesitant to do that simply because, you know, it's like, okay, cool, those are active skills before runes. Like, runes completely change the game, and it, it feels weird almost to me to spend the time going into those abilities, knowing that once the game is out, like, no one's gonna wanna watch that. They're gonna, because, because the runes, runes just drastically change the game, and they change the way classes and abilities function, and, and I love it, and I'm, uh, I'm just excited to have it. Oh, 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 yes. That is nice. The snare is really solid, too, actually. I think that that's, uh, something that's very helpful here. Alright, I don't know. I, I don't think I, I probably don't have to even try to kite that around. Yeah, I can just take the damage. I'm not really in danger. Oh, I didn't even realize. I should have paid attention. <laughs> I was going on a killing streak, and I didn't even know it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'll go ahead and walk over to these villagers. Uh, was I was I talking about something earlier? I don't know. I was just talking about upcoming games. Yeah, the Old Republic coming out. Guild Wars 2 is going to be awesome. No idea when that's coming out. That actually could very well be uh, released after Diablo. Um, that could be bad for Guild Wars, really. Nothing against, I mean, it's a different type of game though, so maybe not. I mean, it's an MMO and much different style than kind of what we have here. With a D3. Nope. Let's keep going. 
walk around the bend here. Can I do that? Is that gonna crack that open? No. No luck. That worked nice though. Oh, I'm so pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> it's the wizard talking, not me. Come on. Be silly. Right, let's try to get these guys a little closer here. What are you doing? Kind of wrangle yourselves up. There we go. I love how he drops those uh, before death, too, just while getting hit. That's pretty cool. What is that? A sash of thrashing? No, it wasn't a sash. It's a short bow of thrashing. I don't need any of these. Is this upgrade? Yes, it is. Plus six attack. It's going to give me some more damage there. Black Mushroom instantly restores 250 health. So it's a potion. Maybe a lot less so, though. I can't even put it on my damn health bar, really. Oh, that's only 100. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me test this out here, guys. Shall we? Let's see if we can find a next big group of guys that we find. We'll uh, test out that Black Mushroom. It's going to do exactly what I expect it to do, but I guess I'll just take some damage here. Come on, guys. Hit me. What are you doing? You idiots. Oh, what are you? Why are you running away? And what is up with these? Like they got little kite. You guys remember cone heads? You ever see that? Things look like little cone heads. Pretty stupid looking, actually. They don't look scary. They just kind of look. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna keep going down. This is gonna be 250 health. So that's actually more. That's actually more than. What are they doing? Dying? Oh my gosh! I didn't even realize. Usable for 30 seconds. Unusable for 30 seconds. Why? I've been healed. What's going on? Why can't I? Hello, McFly. <laughs> think McFly. Think. I really don't know. Unusable for thirty seconds. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with this crap. I'm just gonna keep it in my inventory. Someone clearly knows and is gonna let me know in the comments where, where, where my uh. Where my thought process fell off and should have been picked back up with logical progression, but it didn't happen for me this time. I really don't understand. I, like my initial thought is maybe it's supposed to be un only usable for 30 seconds once it initially drops. I think the last time I saw one of these, it dropped out of the cauldron in uh, uh, Adria's uh, Adria's little cave that we just went down there, you know, and. Uh, that was the last time that it dropped for me. So maybe maybe it's supposed to be that you can only use it like immediately after it drops out of the cauldron. But then the, the wording is incorrect here. So I'm going to stop talking about it because whatever whatever it is actually used for probably makes a lot of sense. And I'm just not thinking of it. So if I keep talking about it, it's going to make me even look like more of a fool. So we will drop this conversation and move on to what? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about how we're still angry that Diablo 3 is not going to be out this year. And Star Wars The Old Republic is. <sighs> I just, I want to play this game so bad. I, I want to play the full version of this game so bad, you know? Can't wait for it to happen. And, you know, obviously, even though it's not a big portion of the game, I can't wait for the PvP either. I mean, that's something that's... Cool. Something that I'm gonna enjoy. Not picking up. Uh, I guess I'll just pick it up anyways to sell it. But uh, my blacksmith there is maxed out for where he can be in the beta. Basically, the next uh, for me to progress any further, I need materials from Nightmare, and that's obviously not an option here in the beta. So, oh, that was nice. Yeah, level five too, and Spectral Blade. Guess we'll use it. Probably gonna be crap though, because this is gonna be based off of weapon damage. So as we can see here, Spectral Blade, 15 arcane power, summons a Spectral Blade that strikes all enemies in your path three times for 35% weapon damage with each hit. So let's take a look at this guy, shall we? <clears throat> let's see what we have here. So I have got, what is the damage gonna be? What's my total damage here? Let me, let me try clipping this. Okay, that's increasing damage. I lose the attack even. But still overall increase in damage. But that's probably gonna drop, okay, this is seven, seven to 10? Oh, it's still seven to 10, really? Arr? <laughs> okay, so the attack didn't really affect the magic missile like I expected it to. All right, cool, well, let's, uh, let's roll with this then. Let's roll with this cool little sword here, shall we? 
Where am I? What am I doing? I, mean, I gotta go back up there and around. All right, so spectral blade again. We'll be doing 35 percent weapon damage three times. If I pick, if I find uh, some sort of cool two-handed weapon, I'll pick that up and we'll take a look at how that looks. <clears throat> damage wise, shall we? Shall we? All right. So let's take a look at the damage comparison here. We have got 11, 12. Okay, so it's hitting. A little bit over that range that it uh, says it would says it will in the tooltip. Is there anyone else over here? What the heck? Why have me come down here? Okay, so this is 13, 11, like the 11 to 13 range is where we're hitting with the missile. Then next, next we'll take a look at uh, this spectral blade. See what that hits for damage. So we'll average, of course, 12. You know, we'll, we'll do an average of 12 is what we're looking at for Magic Missile. And this is, all right, so it's two to three damage times three is what Spectral Blade is hitting at. Okay. So at most, we'd be looking at nine damage, and it looks like it's just been mostly hitting for three, though. So it's not the greatest, but you can also see that it is hitting in an area as well, so that's pretty solid. Uh, you're, I wonder, okay, this is two to eight damage total. That's two to four damage. That's two-handed, though. I don't want to get rid of my offhand right now. Not for that, at least. So not the greatest single target, but since it does hit multiples, actually, you know, not bad right now for kind of clumped up guys. Let's get these guys to look clumped up here. There we go. Cool. Not bad. Mr. Spectral Blade, not bad. I would like, uh, you know, a stronger weapon. I'll we'll actually see uh, when I go back to town if I can find something decent. I'll play around with Spectral Blade, huh? We'll play around with that melee wizard. What are you doing? There you go. We'll see what we can do. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll be, we'll take a look at all the spells, but I want to try to make this for this run. Try to make the melee wizard for this run as much as possible. So it probably means I'm gonna be getting rid of my offhand. It is increased percentage damage, though. Maybe I should just get a one hand. 10% more damage to wizards. It's kind of a lot, guys. Going from one-shotting, though, to having to spam that. But, eh, whatever. Here we go, down to Cathedral. Level 2. Actually, Leoric's Passage is where this is. And that... Oh, did I? I think I just saw a treasure goblin in the corner up there. We'll go back. We'll go back in a second. Alright, let's go, melee wizard. Taking some holy damage too, what do you guys think of that? Wow, I'm running out of arcane power quickly. Okay. Not gonna do that for <laughs> for the single targets. Ooh, here we go. What do we got? 7.2 damage. It's three to six. Plus with the poison damage as well. Deckard? There you go. I'm not gonna go through your little path thing though. I think I saw I think as I was walking out, I saw something a little fanciful. Yes, there he is. Hello, sir. How you doing? Thought I saw you. Where are you going? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Still no uh, weapons, though. That's a bummer. Once more, I was hoping for some sweet weapon stuff, but nope. All right. Sexy. Is there anything even down here? I've never checked. No, it's just block. Just kind of blocked off. All right, so Leox Passage, and then through the little hidden area over here that Kane just opened up for us. Take that table. And then back home. I want to back home. I'm actually want to check for. Uh, I want to check for some one-handed weapons that may be good. Uncle, you're the skeleton. I mean, really, we can do whatever the heck we want here, but... All right, so I got 7.2 right now, 12.6 one hand, and 12.0. 12.6 is going to be pretty solid. Let's go with that, huh? Nice. Nice. What are you doing? Cut it out. There we go. Nice. All right. Things are coming together here. Let's keep this up. Should I get a shield too? Should I just do it just for the hell of it? I don't know, missing that 10% damage. Yeah, look at that. 19.15, replace the shield with it, and I, I miss out on the uh, extra damage. I think I, I probably do want to keep this just be, just because that's so much extra damage. Um, let me stick the wand in here too, just in case I decide to go back to it. But I'm really, uh, I'm liking this idea here of the melee wizard. I really am. 
Um, just, you know, just for the heck of it. Still don't know, I guess, or care, so time to sell that. Ew, nope, 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 I get better. Boot, boots, 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 nope. And that's some random stuff there. I'm gonna sell that because I don't need it anymore. And keep it or sell it. That one's at six, so I don't need that one. Okay, so while we're here, let's see if I can find anything. Um, let's see if I can find anything to replace that. Actually, crap, Ola. I'm all out of uh, I'm all out of the subtle essence, huh? I can't craft anything else right now. All right, 12.6 is pretty good. I could even try dual wielding. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look here too. One, one more time here. Do a little uh, investigate uh, investigation. All right, we've got seven to ten. Oh wow, can't dual wield. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't know that. I guess that's something I never really bothered looking into. So we're just gonna do, uh, just gonna do that one-handed club. Probably can't even. Yeah. Did you hear? Old Rumford has Did you hear? All right. And actually, while we're at it, why don't we do this? Get some uh, just basic attack there. There's a spectral blade, and we can put magic missile on one. So that way, I can I can kind of smack someone in the face if I want to, and then lay down some spectrals, and then drop the uh, the magic missile if it's necessary. Oh, that's right. Look at that. <laughs> Hilarious. Now it's five. Look at that. Now it's uh, about five damage per hit. So going to be a total of 15 as opposed to the 13. All of a sudden, Spectral Blade's looking pretty solid. Still going to keep some sort of range, though. Forgive me. That is That is awesome. You can't, you can't take this melee. You can't take this melee wizard, this Wiccan lady. Let's take a look at that broad axe of winter here. Nine to one. Okay, that's not as good. Not as good as what I have right now. My awesome 12.6 DPS, six to nine damage, as opposed to the four to seven of that. It's a good mace. I'm gonna stick with it. You know, even, maybe even get rid of uh, Magic Missile to pick up some of those armors, huh? Eat it. Oh man, this is fun. <laughs> I, I don't know. I never really thought I'd enjoy a melee, uh, melee wizard. Just because those things seem so counterintuitive to me. It's the idea of, you know, hey, specialize in, in something that a class is actually good at as opposed to kind of just, you know, hey, obviously this class isn't meant to be melee oriented, but look, tearing through. Extra damage here to level up to level six. Got a new active skill slot, that's awesome. What else do we get? We got electrocute too, okay. Well, how about how's about this, guys? Active skill slot. I will pick up and should we do the armor or the frost nova for the melee wizard for the melee wizard? I'm still not getting hit a lot. So let me go with that. It's a nice up and close that'll keep me up and close. And for the one ranged ability, let's pick up electrocute. 15 arcane power. Uh, lightning arcs from your fingertips deal 1 to 13 lightning damage to uh, uh, to a target, and then bounce up to two enemies uh, with reduced 30% damage with each jump. It's actually pretty much all I spammed when uh, my last playthrough of the class. It's pretty much all I did. This is a big area to do some exploring, so this will give us a little bit of time to kind of play around with this stuff. Alright. Alright. Well, ho hopefully you guys are happy <laughs> that I'm trying this out. I did see a lot of requests for it. I had thought about doing build specific videos with the level 13 characters. My only issue with that is that level, because the level 13, when you're playing through this, you're just ripping through guys, because it's not, you know, it's not meant for, like this area is meant for as you're leveling up through it, like we kind of are here, right? Um, but when you play at level 13, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking at the builds when you're just one-shotting everything anyways, you know? 
people have requested that I do something like get three other people in a game with me and just have them sit in town, but the issue with that is finding people to do that. Like who, <laughs> you know what I mean? Finding people to just sit in town while I play. You know, I mean, unless they're like AFK the whole time, it's just kinda, I don't know. We'll see if we can get that arranged though. Maybe once more and more people get in the beta and I've got some people willing to help me out with that. Uh, we could do that, but I would like to do that. I would like to play through the beta with the increased difficulty of three additional people being in it. And, um, you know, just play through it while they sit in town and don't actually help. There we go. Nice. If you're annoyed by this, the the uh, trying the melee wizard, just go check out the other wizard let's play. Because with him, I just do all ranged. I just do all ranged stuff. In fact, I could even do, instead of the Frost Nova, I could even use the Wave of Force. That's another option. Let me try that. Let me switch it up. Wave of Force. There we go. So we'll be using that instead of the uh, Frost Nova. This would be a good way to push some guys back. Give me some breathing room. Extra damage, too. Plus the Snare. It's good overall. I suppose the only major downside is that, that that's an AoE that's got a longer cooldown than... My Frost Nova hat, so just using it a little less frequently. Let's get this guy over here. Spectral Blade, not too bad with sweet weapons. Oh, I was really hoping that I could dual wield, though. It doesn't look like that's possible, though. I tried. Yeah, see? You can't do it. I really wish that that worked. What is that looking at damage for right now? 12 to 14, huh? <clears throat>